Hi, I'm Tobias. I represent New 55 North. I used to be a designer and I like to build bicycles and I take pictures. In fact, I've taken pictures for more than 20 years now. Most of my contribution to New 55 was in the way of experimenting with new chemistry, um, which I carried out in my kitchen most of the time because that was the easiest area for me to clean. I didn't have a darkroom at the time and I also had a window with the Pentland Hills out of it which um, was a kind of a, a ready-made uh, setup to just constantly be tested, test shooting um, and see what kind of results I was getting where I knew that I was going to be get, dealing with shadows with contrasting clouds in clouds and other the other issues that landscapes carry. Working with the chemistry to develop a uh, uh, an instant, both an instant positive and a negative, has been an interesting challenge because talking to chemists doesn't really work. You know, they're used to the, the, the most that they're used to dealing with in terms of um, timing a reaction is um, when you swallow a pill, like an aspirin or something, and um, you know they have a timed release, so it has like a little coating around the pill which goes down into your stomach and then after a certain amount of time your stomach acids eat through that and then releases the chemical and has the desired effect. They're dealing with one process, they're dealing with one protective process, whereas we, we were trying to deal with a whole bunch of counteracting processes that were all mixed together and not only did they have to sort of stay happily in a pre-mixed single solution, the monobath, but um, they also then when they came in contact with their um, that which they were meant to react with, they then also had to behave in the correct order, which is absolutely fascinating because it involved kind of rather than rather than just making a developer which was designed to re reveal contrast and sort of highlight detail, you had to do that but also make something that was robust enough to be able to deal with being within the fixing environment um, with very high alkali to try to get things happening as quickly as possible because we were trying to get the developing process to be completely developed, fixed, and printed within, well, we found that the original Type 55's um, few seconds was impossible. I think I decided that mine was down to about two minutes that I was getting consistent results with. And, um, yeah, it was a fun journey. So if you're a photographer, a young photographer or an old photographer, who likes the idea of having infinite resolution and doesn't like the idea of having a complicated darkroom setup and things like that. New 55 probably is your best bet because you're going to get a print and a negative that you can process almost instantly in the field. I mean, as in literally in a field, um, rather than having a darkroom. And to be perfectly honest, I think the cost is actually pretty competitive because if you consider the cost of buying a sheet of film and then taking it to a lab to have it processed, you're going to be talking pretty close to the price that we're suggesting our initial batch will cost. Um, and if you've never shot with um, instant film, when you have a client in front of you and you're taking, say, a portrait, say a group shot, that's a hard one. If you've got a group shot and you peel apart, peel apart, and show them the print, they respond incredibly differently to the way they respond to looking at a two and a half inch display on the back of a digital camera that you're cradling because it costs so much. You hand them a print and they un immediately understand what you're talking about when you say that this needs to change otherwise it's not going to work quite right. It's about time saving. You can shoot and have everything done, all of the post-production, everything there in your field where you've shot your landscape. You don't have any of the uh, tedium of having to go through thousands of shots that you've done on digital and then do hours and hours of post-production to get the desired effect. You work with something that you know what kind of effect you're after. So you work with, you know, you work with something that you know delivers the effect you're after and then you get it right in camera, choose the right camera, the right lens, you've got the film, you end up with your negative and the print then and there. So if this is the kind of thing that you're interested in, then a good way to start would be to support this project and um, have a look at the other videos and uh, make a contribution on Kickstarter.